Hello. Hello and welcome to Biomutant for the PlayStation 4. Uh, where's the copy I got? It's on a couple other things, Steam, Xbox, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're gonna be playing as a little mutant character. And I guess just a new game. Uh, you know, medium's fine. Choose breed. Primal's nimble, developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid of gene mutation, making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of lesser developed intellect. So we got different variations. Stat based as well. I'm gonna have to go with the one that looks the best and the most fox-like, I think. That's probably good. To find your character's starting attributes, to see more detailed explanations, press the button. Um, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's like baked into the customization, so you gotta really work at it to get a look you like. And I found that biohazard is the most common thing around biomutant, so putting resistance into that's a good way to start for style. Gotta be cobalt, cobalt blue, or as much as it'll let me. Yeah. Whoop. Fluffy. I'll take it. Perfect. I would like to dual wield. Tutorial, look around, got it. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. At the crossroads, choosing a path in life, it's the fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. For you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice, a reflection of your key, a primal energy that flows through everything. The dark is strength and power, or color me life for freedom and loyalty. Uh, Braveheart, freedom. Let me introduce myself on the light bright side of you, or your inner voice, to be precise, an echo of balance and consequence of your actions moving forward. I'm not sure light is for me, you get it, I'm bright. 
Seems more like being lightheaded if you ask me, but you'll come around eventually. What comes around goes all the way back around, so it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature, I'd hope it'd all about be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Natural selection is all about evolution and progress. As soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. Or fuse a mallet, I guess. Stories of death and the bodies left behind, a reminder we're at the mercy of nature and one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Flight. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Monkey wheel. Better make a run for it. It's not time for a place to end the story. They keep you on rails for the tutorial and a little bit at the beginning, but then you're free to roam most of the map in whatever order you like. So that to be good. This time it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for when the time comes. It's an indie game from Sweden, I believe. That's just if memory is correct. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's an indie game. And indie games are very rarely 3D like this. <laughs> Move toward an enemy target melee attacks. Aim the camera to target the ranged attacks. Reload. Key. Okay. Bang. Okay, well, I I don't pay attention. After all, I'm going back through a library of things that I've had for a while. Nothing's really super recent that I'm playing, except for fighting game, Guilty Gear. Oh wow, I really got the look I I really wanted with with uh, this mutant. Sometimes they turn out really. Really ugly, and you don't mean them to. It's the nature of character creation.
We found a weapon special effect add-on added to a ranged weapon to give extra damage for as long as the ammo lasts. Increase attach special effects, press. Supply bag, your health doesn't automatically regenerate all the time, so here's some health things. Use advantage by holding quick select and selecting it. Yes, I have seen that. Sometimes they succeed wildly, and it doesn't even matter because you're covering them up with armor anyway, so. At least if you want to not die. <laughs> oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to their environment and changed along with it. Evolution has its ways. Okay, parry. Parry attack. So satisfying. Full enemies can be looted for healing items. Remember to do that. All right. Some sushi rolls. I don't think I can get that without. No, nope, I can't get that. Ugh. Did surprisingly little damage. Which part? It's also just the tutorial area. I mean, I guess I could put the uh, settings up. Can I? Do that. Yeah, I can. There. Let's pop it up and see if that's better. <laughs> Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can damage the enemy.
defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise your attributes by 10. You'll also get a point that you can use to unlock skills in Wung Fu or perk menus. Okay. Level up increased by 10. Yeah, you just said that. Okay, good. Uh, I definitely want more strength because everyone's health bars are really big now. Upgrade points for closer ranged combat. I want the dual wield combo that does a lot of damage. triggered. Wung Fu and perks. Once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and Wung Fu. I have the option to change it at any point, and I will if it gets annoying. I'm just doing what, what feels... Thanks, Ferret. Well, uh, I'm going to be annoying experience. In uh, this game, I feel like the learning curve is a bit lower. Like, once you've got it figured out, it kind of just applies to all of the levels. It's just bigger health bars. But uh, there's been updates as well, so I'm not even sure if that's the case anymore. That looks weak. Kalaba should take care of it. Flat. If things get too hard too quickly, I'll change it. Bio blobs. These are used to unlock mutations. You can collect bio blobs by defeating morgues and finding containers in various places in the world. You can use these to unlock special powers at any time by accessing the mutations part of the menu. powers and bind them to things. Make me. You can't make me. Meh. <laughs> um... Use moth metals, press your input to have a bound to face in the enemy, and it'll infect a small amount. Press down the input while you have the ability to use a few toxic sludge. Or I can save up for something else. Like wisps. Those look cool. What's this one? Oh, that's nice. Mucus bubble. What 
Acid Punch. I gotta unlock all of these. I want, I want like all of them, <laughs> except for like the first couple. <laughs> well, I'm gonna bind it to triangle then. Try to using this thing. Oh, it's poison on the ground. Okay. Get out of bunker 101. Straight up fallout. and all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from impending doom but was it too late is it the only flight logs from a single arc left behind that we other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond it seems that they came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind oh yeah like post-apocalyptic humans are gone mutants arise Oh, I have not. Thank you for the redeem of 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 hydrate. <sighs> okay, I feel better. Thank you. We found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open up new paths while others feature different rewards. Use a switch nozzles to spin the things. Press those. Press that. Rotate. Um, make a match. Oh, that was really easy. It's not a puzzle when you're just spinning knobs with colors on them. The few records of the chain events that led to the big ap apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear to the world it wasn't prepared how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Hey, it's like, sort of Fox news there. The rare earth mining nuclear industries generated tons of waste. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> Without considering for the future, they dumped it all in landfills and ran out of space, and they, it was a big, big mistake because they began dumping toxic waste in the coast instead, assuming it would sink and decay with time. environmental PSA right now. Once in the surf and radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife created bizarre mutations in their offspring. They had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. Well, those they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated and it would never be the same again. What remained of it became ours. So I guess mutant people made that film. <laughs> That's what I conclude. Did it. Puzzle. I'm here for the combos and power-ups and cute fuzzies. Perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. Stunning enemies have star circle over the head. They will... You hit the enemy again, they'll launch in the air. I've been doing that. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You better help him out. Save the wheeled one.
for Bloodborne. He has a shotgun, I think he's okay. <laughs> or a rifle. Or a shotgun rifle. Health doesn't regenerate in this game, you have to use health to get it back. Yoink. Room is secure. He wants to thank you for taking a side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar, you just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. There's no doubt you're the child, and what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back, but he's grateful that you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you would at least remember the tree. Flashback! Way back in the long ago. Oh, he's so tiny! Talk to best before. Oh, I see. He asks if you're tired, as it's been a bit of a hike from the village. He wonders if your mom knows where you're here. I don't think she cares, or I hope I told her. I hope I told her. I hope I told my mom. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. He understands why you came all the way here to see the potato people. Potato people, or no no, are wonder, our wonder somehow interlinked with the little tree here, fueling its source of life. No no, potato people is better, or I don't believe in magic. I like potato people. Made of potato. You might be right, I like potatoes. They're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. The no no prefer to hide in glitter grass, says you can get over there and ruffle it, see if you can make one of them come out of hiding. Ratio. Hey, you found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is what the Pensai tree needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Uh, will it grow strong enough? Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with a burst of key released from the no-no, as they become one with the tree. You need, to, 
You need a net to catch the no-no, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The no-no are sensitive beings, an embodiment of ki and the primal energy. Hoop net received. That does not look gentle. Better smack you. Wah! Smack. You handled that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. <laughs> One day he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today your focus is getting one to become one with the tree. What, well, you want me to smush it into it? It runs around. You just want me to just hold it to the tree and go... <laughs> Skish. Oh, apparently. I guess I've done it by interacting. Now that you've seen the no-no's connection with your tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. I didn't see anything happen, I just see the blue birds pop out. From this day on, he'll be take nurturing the pensai of the tree of life, a life goal. Not only for the village's sake, but for all of us, for everyone. One day the land won't be as peaceful, not even your Muma will be able to protect us. He says you better hurry back to the village before your Muma comes looking for you. You did good here today. She only cares about Wong Fu, or I shouldn't make her worry. My mom's nice, I like my mom. She's got a lot on her mind, she needs to rest after raid last night on Lupa Camp and with her disciples. Wonders if they left the Predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days began, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. World Eaters? A genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse a Toxinol Corporation inflicted upon the land, set the World Eaters' DNA into overdrive. So giants. Mutant giants. His friend Gizmo is working on a mech ton and needs, a ton needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the West Route. Wiz is still repairing an octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed a Majute and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Glue Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Pork Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of Date says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Here, have the net I stole. Childhood net acquired. Quick astray out is through the roof where they came in. Climbing, climbing. Oh. Knowing that the tree of life is dying and its days are numbered, without help it can't endure the environmental change, the assault from the world eaters. Bio mutant title screen.
Signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You'll unlock a signpost when interacting with it. Or marking your territory. You can fast travel to your signpost you've unlocked by selecting it on the map. Open the map at any time to press this button. Okay. Must be a world dater that chewed off out of Date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that thing down. It was never implied he got it chewed off by one of those, was it, until now? Well, it makes sense, that thing has three phases. Whoop. Bit of lag. There we go. Just heard the stories inflicted at the world leaders to other enclaves, but never expected to come all the way here. The words won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. Your inner balance is two halves that complete a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Few are those that always act in the same manner, and our wholeness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions creates your aura score, which affects the dialogue with other characters. Well, you can run on all fours? Cool. Yeah, it is. It's really fun, actually. <laughs> I love running on all fours with this. And I love, like, this little jacket. It's, like, great. It's, like, my favorite gear to start out with. Your words won't be much to left to say if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you strayed two to your heart. Interacting with captives and Psy Shrines will award you Psy Points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked when you have reached the required Dark or Light Inner Balance. Well, I'll help you because I like the light. He's grateful for that. So you seem to have a spark of light in you. I helped him stand. And they fight and bicker. And nobody cares. Okay. Gain the side point to unlock it in power mutations menu. Blah blah blah. Okay. Wait. <laughs> There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. He says you'll need to make a better stand against the world eaters at the support of the tribe, and there are two nearby. Myriad tribes like to be a match as they act on understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Myriad's conviction to stop the world leaders began when the leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness as a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though, destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only had one conviction, to break balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe in cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the Tree of Life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Other day needs someone to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni or Myriad's tribe. He believes that tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. 
Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Choose a side. Quest markers. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the moto bridge. What'll it be? I'm gonna take the tunnel. not to hit the other guys. You're welcome. Don't say thanks or anything. any chance I get. Any scrap you have is stuff you can use to upgrade. There's one. Electric plug. Health pack. this game pretty pretty or very pretty that's the myriad tribes fortress they will be friend or fro don't know why it forced paused me there but it did my fort Says the wary of strangers, they're at war. Let me talk with your Sifu. Says the Sifu decides who the Sifu wants to see, but it's willing to let you give it a try. Fall of foot foot, must guy la wood there. 
The myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe in uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. Sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe Sifu. Typical c combustible is his name. <laughs> Pretty sure that's randomized every time, now that I think about it. He's hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in the bunker has preceded you. A vigilante. You heard that you took out out of date's side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. Seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind hearted. Sifu says that one memory can make make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wong Fu disciples. Ma Muma? Your Muma invented Wong Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed attacks with six weapons. The boomerang, shuriken, bow, staff, nunchuck, and hook and chain. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their understanding is... Their goal is understanding and the greater good and establishing a code of honor. Yes, you've said that a lot. Uh, sure, I want to ally with you, if only I, I I, have other choices later, too. The Sifu wants to be waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you on their side, they're confident you can unite the other tribes and co coerce the Jagni tribe. Put her there! Okay. They're gonna run out of options and found themselves back into a corner. With even those that desire for peace have been forced to prepare for war. He wants you to focus. These are the outposts of your tribe that need to take your tribe needs to take control of. Blah, 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 blah. Says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and Tribe Weapon, now is if you defeat them. And that will never happen. Because he said so. You both have gentle minds, so they want you to wage a gentle war, the war that bonds as much as it breaks. It tells you not to be afraid that your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the Tribe Weapons. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll ch challenge their Sifu and unite their tribe with yours and let the king share land again. Seeing you brings back the memories of the old village. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense it within you still. The will to do good. Anyway, your memories will make your family sh strong and you can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the rival outposts might help. Good. Good, great, wonderful, thank you. Gonna sprint through to the village. Oh, 
it's a monster. Oh shit. Beware, that's a mump ahead. They were hard hit by revolution. The wonky one especially deformed an unbird. Naming could be as little to be desired, but uh like the design. Ouch. Speed, please. Okay, is there anything I can salvage before I move on? Dumpster. Eye compass. Attachments. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it drawing you closer. My abandoned village, mine, I say. Covering more map. Thank you for the stretch redeem. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. 
It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Thank you for the stretch redeem. Echoes of long past like whispers in the wind. Time to meet your old neighbors. Goop. He wonders where you've been, hopes you've been out to the lake practicing your swimming technique. Uh, I'm into training Wung Fu. I want to karate. He understands Wung Fu is hard, and that's why your Muma only had six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. Thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Teach me as in now? Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. Learn. <laughs> Swimming. You can swim in most waters. Well, in very deep water, you can slowly lose key energy, and when you're out of key, you're drowned. Just karate chop the water here. That wasn't too bad, was it? I need to keep at it. Way to go, don't let the sound of waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice, lots of practice. Judging by your Muma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down, it's time to go. Been looking forward to it. Your dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know, practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square? Yeah, see you there soon, Muma. I'll be waiting for you. There'll be a surprise for you at the end, too. Boy. Gizmo. He's another familiar face with a lot on his mind. He was hoping you could come help him pick up some scrap from the thingamajig he's working on. Uh, I don't mind picking up trash. He's happy to hear that someone's that's part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. You could take. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Upcycling. Weapon upgrades and add-ons. He wonders if they'll be useful. I'm not sure. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left lying around on the ground. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Um, the things you make are great. He says only few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found will be a good start. Welcome to crafting! I know how this works, so I'm just gonna put some stuff together here. I want one handed. And something that'll be strong enough that I can actually use it later in the game. You did well, but you have wondered why you decided to craft a weapon. Well, I wanted something cutting edge. He appreciates those that de deliver a sharp remark. He's looking forward to seeing what you can make next. It seems you have talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. 
You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She sees she wants you to see you to the way to the village. Cool. Uh I can't be there if I'm here. Then you better hurry up, or you won't get far with that attitude. Go up and start thinking for yourself. You you really need to find yourself before she's gone. I'll try harder. That's all she ever asks of you. And you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Oh. Puti and Kati. He asks you to stop right there and wonders what you think you're going. I'm late for training. It's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. Uh... Why are you being a tool? We push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. Eh. Oh, oh, oh. Violence. <laughs> Steve asked if you're hurt and what happened. They're envious because I have you. She's there for all disciples. That's her commitment to, as Sifu. And when she needs them, they're there for her and each other. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. As I teleport around. Very tiny. There's someone close to heart doing what he does best. Sewing. He asked if you could help him too before you leave for training. If you tell Muma, he'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions in future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how to upcycle some old fabrics. Well, I'm just, just like him too. Searched laundry. Whatever it is, it shouldn't be left forgotten at the bottom of a pile of recyclables. It says you about time you learned how to offer and offers to teach you start starting with the scrap you found. Gear crafting. You can add things. And you can just have as much nonsense on you that you can fit.
went back. That's good. That's zero to twenty-two armor points. Look sharp on you. You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. Just looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Muma says it's about time you got here. Well, I'm here, lady. Go. Hopes you're as ready as you claim to be. Says you're just eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Ha! Gee! Ho! Ha! Yeep! did well today. She's so proud of you. Thank you. Thanks for being such a good student. I've been working hard on a present for you with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You deserved it. Is that a bear with a hookah? Let me catch it. I want the. I want it. What? Wow, I've never had trouble catching this thing before. of the day. Your mama says that she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing, and it's wonderful. A piece of Skeptronics like this built in old world tech that makes it potent for a communication device. It's called an automaton and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow you wherever you go and see whatever you do. Will it record what happens to me? So it's not a rec record keeper, it's more like a companion. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. Uh, but what a day it's been. She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing can stop Lupa Lupin from setting the world on fire. Oh, this dude burned down your village too. Muma says that this is it and the time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Whatever happens, you need to know that she loves you and she, that everything she's done is to protect you and your popsy from those she was chosen to lead. 
Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. Ah. Let's go through fire and water to make it out of here. Uma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. Circle is where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore for as long as you go with the flow. Dialogue's weird. Oh, that was me. I died. both inputs again. <laughs> it's it something to do with the delay of the capture. That's Muma. Death is not to be feared by the one who has lived life with a pure heart. Part of her will live on in you. creature is hungry for more and nothing is going to stand in his way now. Sacrifice is made for someone else. It's not lost but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you, what you do for your kin remains, and what makes you immortal in their memory. been made orphan. Oh. Crafting menu. You can now craft weapons and modify your gear in the crafting menu. Wait, that's not the crafting menu. This is the crafting menu. 
Uh, now I can actually add stuff and change my weapons and things. Modify. Spark plug. Well, I can scrap it and have a part of plastic for something else. Might be more worth it. But, uh. Oh, I can't use it. I don't have enough extra stuff. Okay. Um. Okay. Still not enough to play with really anything, but uh, get some more items gathered soon. Tribes caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. been killed. Should drop me just before that fight though. Oh, thank you for the hydrate.
No, I dodged into it. Wow. Before we do that, why don't we chicken out and drop the difficulty? Yeah, they're they're a little slow, but everything's a congruent area. Like at a certain point, it opens up and it's just all one area. There's no loading time for anything, so like. It loads everything at once, I think, is its problem. Probably, I would assume so. Like, it got... PS4 got this game right on its the end, near the end of its life cycle when PS5 was coming out, so... I think the load times would be better on PC for something like this. For sure. Movement speed. I want to be speedy. Uh, perks, Wung Fu. Turn to roll. Range opens fire more shots. Reflexes, weapon range. weapons work quicker is way better to have in the long run. 
You always have a gun and you always have melee. We received news of Ronin to strengthen their ranks and was looking forward to meeting you. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Macradorfus outpost and are waiting for you there. You should hurry there and help out best uh, help them best the outpost. Is it far from here? Not really, it's west of Bricktown. You can spot Gizmo's chuckyard from the hill it resides on. Ooh, glad I killed this thing for you. Where do I go? This way. Break glass in case of need of mecha droids. Clonk fist. It will break walls for you. Also, it's a weapon. Hitting an enemy with the special attack fills Wung Fu icons to the left of your character. When all icons are filled, you can activate the Super Wung Fu state. You'll need different special attacks to fill up the next icon. Oh, so if I do that. like this here echoes from the past. Gravity's only a suggestion in this game. Case in point. Ceiling? I did. That's fantastic. I love it. Automaton Trail. Examine the notice board. Filled with leftovers of used to be wants. Getting close to one of those Toxinol brick towns, pay attention. The Toxinol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. They threw away whole cities? Small ones, like this place were cheap back in the day, and there were plenty of space. Get done with one place, you just build another. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town, I just hope it's not buried. Thanks, cricket friend. I open up the map to see all area objectives again. Where am I? I'm right here. Any 
anywhere I can get into and find a, things to loot. That's what I want to do. Oh, what's this? Hat. I now have a hat. Ooh. Their frock, 38 armor. I cannot equip it because it's level 7. That'll take it with me. We found a track. I'm amazed it wasn't destroyed. So much of this place was just discarded. Luckily, the track somehow made it. Was this ever nice? No, it was never was nice. It was once new, but there was not nearly the same thing. Just being new never lasts. The tracks moved on from Bricktown, and you should too. Then a side quest for the grasshopper again. Cool. Nails. Make a more lethal weapon. store. Uh, rotation puzzles. Shoulder pads. Can I put them on? Will you let me? do I do this? Oh, main hand. Okay. Yes, yes. Ranged. I don't have a unique crafted ranged. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this. Grab it for parts. What? There's nothing. I didn't even know it was possible to get no items from an interactable. Ooh. I still have this. close to okay level up vitality
under that way. I guess I'm going this way. Meet the war party. The Jagney Tribe Outpost. Just fast travel, enable this spot first. Okay, hello. How do you, how do? So it's time to set the outpost free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through the arrival captain. Captain? If you can, you should try to convince the captain to give up the outpost and join your cause. Let's go. Every step you take towards our end goal brings us closer to a better world. Kerchunk. Here's the first line of defense. drowned. I'm still wet, what? <laughs> Done. Right. 
cage is holding a helper. So a captive. Hostage. I'll go to the fort and rest then. Ooh, different gun. Equipped. Sharp shorter, the scaffolding looks unstable. Here's the second line of defense. Smack it to get a barrel out, then hit it toward the gate to blast it. Never as easy as you say it is. Outpost claimed. Alright, territory change. Okay. Says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is going stronger. Outpost shops are open. His chairness. Tribe weapon unlocked. Hey. 
Each tribe has its own tribal weapon. If you defeat a rival tribe, it's, you acquire its weapon. By helping your own tribe, you've acquired this weapon. You're now allied with a tribe. You can decide to switch your allegiance and ally with a different tribe. Go to a tribe port and talk to their Sifu to change your allegiance. Wear it with Brad. Figures the owner belongs to the tribe too. Out of date says he's been doing his best to keep up on what he can tell. It seems you're making progress with the tribe conflict. Says you had a feeling you'd be a, get along with the Myriad tribe, but it, it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. You seem to share the same values as the Myriad tribe. You both have the same optimistic outlook on life, at least for now. But Out of Date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the world leaders. Out of Date's forebodings are justified. The Jumbo Pup needs to be taken care of. So the time has come to confront the Jeff Jumbo Pup at the end of the West Route. Gizmo's working on the Mechton strong enough to endure an oxygen-deprived dead zone all the way out to the World Eater. Over here. Out of Date says you should get over there and see what you can do to help. Right on, right on, right on. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the stream here. I hope you all enjoyed. And thank you for coming. And I'll, yeah, I'll just, uh, just end it here, I guess. Thank you guys for coming. I've been Zeke the Fox. Uh, check out my VODs on YouTube and the stream before they are gone from the uh, Twitch library and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Have a great day. Bye-bye.